What's the difference, baby? Yeah, they know. Big boss, how boss dog can't pull through the door. I'm back to back on these boys. Talk to the boxer. So, look, Terrence Crawford, man, he, on this interview that he had recently, the man said that any fighter that he fights, they don't come back the same. That's Cap. Let's talk about it. I can't, I can't say that for Terrence Crawford. They all come back the same or even better. Name a fighter that Terrence Crawford fought that wasn't the same after he fought him. Y'all gonna say Jeff Horn. Jeff Horn won Jeff Horn wasn't even really like that. They they set that shit up so Terrence could get a be a champion. They didn't want uh Terrence to get a Manny Pacquiao fight, right? They didn't feel like he was big enough to get that fight. So Jeff Horn got that fight. They said, hey, we're gonna screw Pacquiao out of his belt because he's gonna lose anyway. I mean, he finna leave anyway. My bad. I misspoke. So we're going to get a belt to Jeff Horn, and then we're going to let Terrence fight Jeff Horn because Terrence finna move up anyway. That was the game plan. They followed the game plan to the T. What happened? Moved up. Terrence fought Jeff Horn, beat the shit out of him, got the belt. Jose Benavidez Jr. was already fucked up. He got shot. He was already fucked up. Amir Khan was already fucked up. He got his ass. He And this is the thing. Amir Khan got his ass baptized by Canelo. And then came back, fought Sammy Vargas, almost lost. I think Sammy Vargas dropped that nigga. Then Phil LaGreco dropped him too. I heard him. Or oh, it might have been the other way around. He struggled with them two dudes. Two dudes that are journeymen. I'm going to say journeymen. They like gatekeepers. They like when you take your prospect, all right, we're going to see if you really will fight these two dudes. That's what you do. You know what I'm saying? You take those two dudes and you put them in there with them. Your prospect. That's what you do. Terrence fought him. Knocked him, you know, whatever. I think that Mir Khan quit. I ain't gonna say he knocked him out. He just quit. Cap Brook. I already damn it's good. He was coming off a three fight win streak. Man, fuck all that shit. Cap Brook ain't fought at 147 since he fought Errol. Didn't have his coach, right? Didn't have his real coach. He found a coach on Instagram went to, and, and went and trained with that nigga for a couple of weeks. Y'all don't, don't remember the parameters of that contract. He had a short training camp to prepare for Terrence Crawford. I digress. Then, Me Machine came off a shaky win against, what's that boy name? Ah, dang. I forgot buddy's name. But he came off a shaky win against him. And then Me Machine got a Terrence Crawford fight. It's a dude that beat Terrence Crawford in the amateurs. a black dude. I forgot his name. They kind of be beefing a little bit. But they put Me Machine in there with Terrence Crawford instead of the other dude. I forgot his name. Damn. So it's a lot of asterisks, you know. But all I'm saying is, me machine after that was fighting Virgil Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? For a chance to become the mandatory again for Terrence Crawford's bill. I digress. You know what I mean? Like when Errol fight people, you going to the hospital. He breaking both. Look at Ugas. All right, that's a prime example. I like using Ugas because it's a prime example. Ugas had a broken orbital bone, broken nose, broken ribs. The nigga still ain't fought. He fought El Spence last year, April in 2022. I think it was April 13th, 2022. It's 2023. It's July. We in the middle of July. This nigga still ain't fought. Now, it's rumored he's supposed to fight Keith Thurman. But he didn't been out the ring a year and a half. You see what I'm saying? Danny Garcia. He's still fighting. But he don't look the same. He took a long layoff. He brought Jose Benavidez Jr. from 147 to 154 to fight him. He ain't fighting no 254 pounder. I digress. Cal Brook was fighting bums. He was fighting strippers. <laughs> 154. 
getting his ass whooped by a stripper. Let me tell you something. You a pro boxer and you getting your ass whooped by a stripper, something wrong with you. You need to retire. And his and look, he was fighting in the UK, and the people in the UK was like, man, uh, Kel Brook needs to retire. He don't look good. I'm telling you, bro. So that whole statement about, oh, yeah, dudes don't ever be the same after I fight them, it's bull crap. Errol breaking bone in niggas' face, beating niggas up, like, to the point where they, like, getting arthritis and hips and neck and all type of stuff. That's the difference between the two. Now, granted, like I said before, doesn't mean Terrence Crawford can't win this fight, right? I'm going to keep saying that. I'm a realist. Don't mean he can't win this fight. He very well can win this fight. But that whole statement about, oh, guys don't be the same after they fight me is bullshit. I don't know what type of narrative he put in his head, bro. Like, Terrence, and you're supposed to think of yourself as a great friend. You're supposed to be confident in yourself. But he comes up with these narratives in his mind and tries to force you to think that like that. Like, oh, I'm a boogie man. No, you're not. Nobody's scared to fight you. Everybody will fight you. Well, I take that back. Virgil Ortiz didn't want to fight that nigga. You know what I'm saying? We're we going to keep it a stand. Virgil Ortiz was like, mm, I don't want no smoke. So we'll give him Virgil Ortiz. But you got Virgil Ortiz who didn't want to fight this man. You got, but everybody else, they just like, hey, bro, if you come over here, we can fight. You come over here, we can fight all day. He like, nah, I want to stay over here and I want to fight. They're like, well, shit, you ain't got no fight. You come over here, we can fight. You can get all the fights you want. Just come over here. And if I'm bud, I go where the smoke is at. That's just real talk. You go where the smoke is at. I'm going to go where the killers is at. I, that's where I'm going. If they saying these dudes is killers, I want to see about that. Let me see. It sound good. Let me go see. He never did that. So, man, I'm not trying to hear anything about no that stuff. It's cap. It's cap, bro. And we got to call it like we see it. Terrence Crawford's a great fighter, but he comes up with these narratives in his head, and he try to force you to think it. And if you don't, and he, what he uses, he uses reverse psychology on you. If you don't agree with him, you don't know boxing. Or if you don't agree with him, you are out. It's like, bro, I don't have to agree with you. I'm a grown-ass man just like you a grown-ass man. I don't have to agree with you. I like you as a fighter, but I don't have to agree with that narrative. It's false. I get it if he fight a dude that was in his prime or that was a champion, and they you he fight them and you never see them again. No, you be seeing these dudes again. Now, Amir Khan was already damaged goods. After Danny knocked the soul out of his body, he was just kind of like glass chin. It's like Danny knocked his lining out of his jaw or something. He started getting hurt every fight after that. Then Canelo put the icing on top. After that, you blow on Amir Khan chin, he, he getting knocked out. Look at his last fight with Kell Brook. Stop playing, bro. So like I keep saying at the end of the day, spray to spray, man. We got to keep it a thousand. Tans Crawford, tell the truth, man. That's all I can say. Boss God.